Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're gonna do a libation review. Okay, this one here is um, Chico Fermentation Project, brewed and packaged in partnership by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, Chico, California, okay? And this is called Strange Beast Hard Kombucha, 7% alcohol by volume, and it's um, grapefruit, pomegranate, and cucumber flavor. It's gluten-free. I did review this some time ago, but I, I poured it in a glass and reviewed it like a beer, and a friend of mine said I should just drink it from the can, and that is, that's how it's meant to be consumed is straight from the can so we're going to review re-review it um, from the can and also we're going to I'm going to take a little bit pour it in the glass and see how it kind of compares okay and um, yeah this, this is uh, what it looks like I got this at uh, Whole Foods for like five bucks for this pint okay You hear that rumbling it's just my truck running uh, I'm parked I'm not driving anywhere I'm on private property so don't a couple of my friends are concerned that I was out drinking and driving after I was doing my videos but no that's not the case okay so that's what it looks like okay so uh, let's get it cracked open and see what we got here okay first I'm gonna pour a little bit in the glass so you can see what it looks like and then I'm going to take a drink out of this can first, and then I'll take a drink off the glass second. Okay, so uh, there's a little bit right there. A little bit more so you can see it. Okay. Okay, it's like a slightly hazy, um, really light yellowish color, murky yellow, kind of. Okay. So, um... I'm just gonna take a hit, okay? Cheers. Now, see, that is different. That is much tastier from the can. Okay. So, I'm gonna take a sip from here now. Definitely better from the can. Smoother. Uh, taste um, kind of citrusy um, let's see here it tastes good I can tell you that right now grapefruit maybe a little bit maybe a little orange too pomegranate maybe it's hard to kind of describe what it tastes like um, contains live cultures must keep cold okay for sure oh, it's got hops in it ingredients I can't read it I can't read it. this font's too small it's got yeast I guess it's brewed with maybe tea or something um, I don't know if you can read that, but I doubt it, but no way, dude. As close as I can get it. You can pause it. Maybe you can read it. Read it. Excuse me. Well, it's kind of like a citrusy kind of tape, kind of pineapple-y. Kind of has a pineapple kind of character. Kind of like barnyard funky a little bit. Okay. Alright, I'm good. So, um, yeah. It's kind of citrusy. It's got kind of a medium mouthful, a lot of fizziness on the tongue. Let me turn that down a little bit. I know that the truck's not running. 
Okay, so I guess I can taste hops too. Yeah, it's kind of like a little floralness. Kind of fruity tasting, little grapes maybe, kind of like white grapes. No booziness, no raw alcohol notes. A very tasty uh, libation here. Kombucha. There we go. Tasty. Refreshing. Not bad at all. I like it. Yeah, it's um, too fizzy from the glass. It's a lot smoother from the can. So definitely want to drink this from the can. Very cold. It's almost like soda pop, but not as sweet. It's more like fruitier and uh, maybe hoppier. But it doesn't taste like beer. It's pretty damn good. Uh, this might be a pretty good alternative to beer for actually I guess it's lower in calories too so that's good not bad I recommend it I recommend trying uh, one of these you might like it I do so I'm gonna scale I'm gonna well, I just got a peppermint kind of note interesting it's pretty complex actually a pretty complex uh, libation here Yeah, it's got more of a fizziness and a bite in the mouth feel when you drink it from the glass. Well, it's definitely crushable. Um, yeah, I'm I'm digging it. Definitely, uh, sit, you know, has some kind of characteristics as being like citrusy and fruity and kind of tropical. definitely lighter uh, lighter feel in your belly <clears throat> does have some carbonation Ooh, my the burp was minty that's very interesting like spearmint mmm pretty damn good um, I'm feeling it too a little bit 7% um, so that's pretty much what I got on this puppy it's pretty different it's, it's tasty it's refreshing um, give her girl give it a go um, it's about the same price as a craft beer so um, a scale of one to five stars uh, two and a half being C average I'm gonna score it like beer as far as like enjoyability I'll give this um 3.9 pretty good but I still like beer better I feel like uh, I can't drink a lot of these because maybe it'd give me like acid reflux or something. Uh, ribbit, excuse me. Here you want some, Jimmy? <laughs> I'm sure he would. So uh, yeah, 3.9 it is. That's my story. I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, the re-review of this uh, was successful because it is better from a can, in my opinion. So um, if you can get this, go for it. Drink it from the can, cold, and enjoy. Hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. I need the subs. I want to get to a thousand. And um, thanks for stopping by. And uh, we got some really good reviews coming up here real soon. All right. We'll check you later. See ya.